Hello and welcome to day 49 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Today is about focusing on being a healthy person and giving yourself some healthy love and care because, you know, at this time now, again, we're talking about lockdowns and isolations and that, and we've probably, you can go one or two ways. You can you can become a health fitness freak and really start getting your mind around everything, or you might have gone the other way, which is, you know, you're probably having too many glasses of wine and and one too many cheese boards, or you're just not doing what you used to do in terms of your exercises. So what I want to talk to you about today is focusing on being a healthy person, and I need to do that more than anybody, but I'm trying with these steps now going forward of where we are, is eating healthy. Eating healthy is the first step to being healthy, and you know, um, I'm working with some wonderful people at the moment who are helping, um, it, but it's a lifetime commitment, it's not a diet. We choose to eat whole foods and, and avoid sugar, and, and, and a lot of carbs, breads. So what we're talking about here is is that our desire to make healthy eating choices. And we're going to do a meditation around that. But bread, rice, and sugars, very rarely do they ever agree with our body. And when you wake up in the morning, um, you know, you're able to make those decisions for yourself and not to worry about um, inconvenience yourself or and try and think, oh, we can break down a lot of those barriers where we can um, disconnect with with others regarding what we want to do in our lives and our businesses etc so in order for us to achieve um these desires we must become relaxed or more focused on what we need to do in our lives and you know it's a delicate time for everybody at the moment and you know it's obviously very important that we focus all of our necessary efforts on on helping ourselves but you know being able to wake up with the intent of 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 trying to quit things like sugar and carbs and foods that turn to sugar and get rid of a lot of the blocks we have regarding some of our emotions or what we would like to do in our lives and make necessary plans without feeling like um you know you're going to be totally inconvenienced by everything that's going on because um you know we want to be able to put some structure in i'm working with people now doing lots of things but even in my life i'm trying to put structure in there. my working day i'm trying to put structure in. when you work from home it's very easy to work from home all day it's very easy to work in the environment that i work in because when the uk goes to sleep america wakes up when america goes to sleep australia wakes up so there's always it's always three o'clock in the afternoon somewhere in the world and you know that can be very difficult but you know i want to be able to have that structure and in order to do this i want to be we have to be honest with ourselves and honest with others and 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 getting done all that needs to be done but with balance and ease and being able to say right i'm going to stop doing this now at this time and i'm going to go out and i'm going to read a book or thursday afternoon is for doing this or you know whatever it is but you know for us it's about you know having your daily life but putting in some structure but thinking about our breath thinking about being in the moment thinking about balance and clarity and purpose and all of these things so your breath's been with us you know since the beginning and it's there with you every moment it's exactly where you want it to be and the breath never questions and it never judges you it's simply does what it's required and instantaneously it just keeps doing it so we're going to honor our breath and um we're going to have five very purposeful purposeful breaths in a moment but i want you to close your eyes because we're going to go into meditation i want you to take a deep breath in i want you to hold that breath breathe in breathing out Now, the next time we fully inhale, expanding our best our bellies and our chests as much as you can, and just hold it for a moment. So just fully breathe in, and just hold it for a moment. And as you exhale, exhale, feeling a, a wave of relaxation that's sweeping all over you. Again, inhale, filling your entire breathing system with fresh oxygen. And just hold it there a second, and then exhale, noticing again that the wave of relaxation gently sweeps over you. And three, inhale again, very deeply. So now that you are brimming with fresh air and take a moment at the top to soak it in all into your life force, 
all through the oxygen and then exhale. Notice in your body, relaxing in different areas without any effort from you. Number four, we're going to fully inhale the life force, bringing uh, and beginning to feel these breaths purifying your entire body. And then when we exhale, not having to do anything at all, just noticing how you're feeling, the sounds around you. And one last, a full, beautiful breath coming in. Hold it and feel in the goodness of this very simple task. And exhale, allowing that wave of relaxation to sweep again over you. And just take a moment now, just to... You know, take a note of how you're feeling in this in this very moment. You know, you now have an abundance of oxygen in your body. And this is how we truly create it and how we feel a beautiful sense of relaxation and breath. You see, breathing deeply and fully is an expression of self-compassion. Letting your breath be natural now and notice how abundance feels. This is your new tool that you can use when you're faced with feelings or blockages. Just sit and take in five deep breaths. When you feel these things, immediately pause. When you have an emotion or you have stress or anything that, that's taking you off your path, pause and take five deep, purposeful and powerful breaths that allow you to relax. And taking these conscious and dedicated breaths make it even difficult for you to be unbalanced. Next time you catch yourself at a standstill, you may take these five very healing breaths. Now I want you to just ease into a state of complete relaxation, opening the subconscious mind, allowing for any changes to take place. I want you to, we're going to do a technique where you're just going to begin to slowly blink your eyes. And you blink your eyes on each number. Just blink once. So every time I say a number, you just blink. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. And with your eyes now obviously closed anyway, but by doing that blinking with your eyes and focusing, you feel a wave of complete relaxation sweep over you. Your eyes feel even more heavy than they did before. Very relaxed and very comfortable and in many ways feeling like you've just sort of just dropped into your body, into a trance-like state. And just become aware now of your body and feel the space around you. Notice how the space around you hugs to your shape. Notice the feeling of your weight pressing down on the chair or wherever you are. And see if you can feel the earth below you as it's pressing up, supporting you. Now become aware of the very top of your head and put all the focus there. Noticing any sensations you have there. Now moving down, focus now on your eyes and feel how they feel. And notice the tiny movements they're making. And these movements relax you further. Notice your nose and feel the air passing through as you breathe in and you breathe out. Just noticing your mouth and taking your awareness down your neck and even notice any tension and just ask it to be released. Notice that all of the sensations in your body is making you feel very relaxed and very comfortable. And become aware of your chest and your lungs expanding and contracting with your breath. Perhaps you can feel your heart beating pumping with pure spiritual love. Send your focus down your arms all the way to each fingertip, feeling the sensations 
of touch in all of your fingers. And bring your focus now to your abdomen and all of your vital organs. Notice your pelvis and hips and the sensations of weight pressing down. This takes you deeper into a state of true relaxation. And your awareness goes down each leg, over your knees and down all the way to your feet and each toe. Notice how completely relaxed your entire, entire body feels right now. And now you have become aware of every part of your body. This is meditative. I'm going to tell you something very important and you'll deeply hear the words that I say to you and they will affect your life for the better. You are completely aware at every level of your mind and even though your body may feel asleep, these things I'm going to tell you will change your life for the better. Eating healthily is the first step in being healthy and is a lifetime commitment. You choose to eat whole foods and to completely eliminate sugar and refined carbs. You're never going to purchase prepackaged foods that have too many ingredients. Even though you may think these things taste good, they're not good for your bodies. You're going to scour all areas where this food is kept, cabinets, the freezer, the refrigerator, and remove anything that contains high levels of sugar. Bread and rice turn directly into sugar. So limit these items as well. And limit any takeout food, any processed food. And each day you should strive to cook at home and enjoy this new task. Cooking healthy foods that have replaced any concerns about eating refined carbs or sugars. And you see immediate results in how much joy cooking brings you. Exercise is also very important. You start the day by doing some stretches or runs or cardiovascular that's right for you of some nature. And when you go out for a walk, just gaze at the plants and the trees and feel them supporting you in your journey. And they provide oxygen for us all. And when you notice a troublesome thought is coming your way, look at nature, look at your surroundings, appreciate its oxygen and take a deep breath. We know that breathing and exercise removes toxins from our bodies and heals us in every way. And we need to cultivate balance in healthy relationships. It's important to take care about others, but you must be cared for as well. Others appreciate you when you are completely honest with them, and others appreciate you when you're completely honest with yourself by taking care of your own needs. It's healthy and important not to extend yourself too far in any circumstances. You feel completely free to let others handle what they need to take care of, concentrating on the tasks that you need to complete. In a lot of things we do, we, your businesses or work requires a lot of social interaction in many ways. And you have an excellent understanding of how to manage your time, perfectly fitted in in, with all the things you need to accomplish. But you need to prioritize without getting distracted by other tasks. It's easy for you to talk to hundreds of people in a single day, making you feel good whilst doing so. Each person you speak with is an achievement. But when you can tend to yourself one by one or your work one by one and others one by one with clarity, Notice how you're feeling and hear your voice saying, I go to bed early and with ease so that when I rise, I am rested and ready for the morning with nature. 
I found myself again by expressing my needs honestly with loved ones, taking only on as much as I can handle. I never feel inconvenienced by friends and family because I've set firm boundaries with what I allow myself to take on. In my business ventures, in my work, helping others to succeed is also very important to my well-being and success. But I do this easily with confidence. I see clearly the tasks I need to complete and do so efficiently and effortlessly. And I get to the point where others admire me because I exude integrity, because I'm honest with my words and my inner feelings. I exude confidence when communicating and others value me because I value myself greatly. I am consistent and I'm professional with myself, sticking to plans that I create. I feel completely free to kindly say no when someone asks too much of me. Even though I feel tempted to eat some of these unhealthy foods, I choose healthy foods instead and my, old, my body always thanks me for this choice. When I have free time, I research how I can live a better life with clarity and purpose, how I can maximise and be my best self. Balancing family and business is very important and work to me, so I always take care of my needs first, creating a wave of harmony. In order to change all that I desire, I simply practice the techniques that build healthy habits every single day without skipping a single day. And notice how you feel because you've already done a great job today. Taking a deep breath in and start to understand that Heal thyself before healing others. And allow this time we have now during this unusual period in all of our lives to ensure that we take care of ourselves so that we are in a position to be able to be our best self and to fulfil our soul's purpose. So when you're ready, Take a deep breath in and come back to your wakeful awareness, bringing back all that you've learned from today and holding yourself with that complete loving kindness. So it's a bit of a different meditation. It chopped and changed a bit because I was guided. But, you know, for me, it is about making the right life choices. But importantly, I think the underpinning message of today is be kind to yourself, look after yourself, take care of yourself. Have balance in everything that you do. And don't be afraid to say no to some people. Do what you can do. Develop yourself and help others. But don't do that to the detriment of your values, the detriment of your energy or the detriment of your health. Because in the main, you are truly all you've got. And we want you to have this balanced life with clarity and purpose. And work towards that today. Thank you for watching day 49 of the Mindfulness Challenge. I shall see you tomorrow when we do day 50. And don't forget, good morning, Julian. I love you. Good morning, Julian. I love you. Thank you very much.